Hello, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to shut down a remote computer using command prompt powered by tech.peterchrist.com. Okay, first log on to a server with administrative rights. After logging in, click on start, go to all programs, accessories, command prompt, or go to run and type cmd to open the command prompt then type cd and slash then type cls to clear the screen after type shutdown shut down shutdown after typing the shutdown if you want to shut down a remote computer type s slash and then s then space then f slash f then then give a space and then type slash and t t for time let's give the time for shutdown 140 minutes sorry 40 seconds now slash m slash give space then double slash that is a unc path okay now type the computer name or the ip address of the particular computer which you are going to shut down let's type the computer name is server s e r v e r server 3 now if you want to show a user a comment why you are shutting down the computer again slash and then click c after timing C, give the space and then give the hyphen mark as you can see and type the appropriate comment which you want to give show to a user like S A V E save O U R your data save your file F R L E and close the comment then click enter now let's go to a user computer and let's see what's happening on his computer okay on the user computer as you can see it is prompting to a user that the computer will be shut down and there's a message save your files as you can see this is a server 3 the user computer now let's go back to a domain controller and let's see how we can abort this shutdown ok now we are back on domain controller as you can see DC now to abort that shutdown type shutdown SHUT DOWN give space slash if you want to abort the shutdown type A then give space and that is a remote computer so type slash m and again slash then the unc path and the about shutdown that particular computer name that is s e r v e r then type the name now click enter as i clicked enter the shutdown has been aborted now let's go back to a user computer and let's see what's happening okay on the user computer as you can see the shutdown has been aborted okay let's go back to a domain controller and let's see how we can restart the user computer okay we are back on domain controller DC now to restart the user computer again type shutdown and type slash r r for restart slash f slash t for timing let's give him give him 300 minutes 300 seconds now slash slash m for remote computer and backslash for unc path and then type the 
computer name or you can also type the IP address of that particular computer. The IP address of that particular computer is 192.168.1.1. Fifty-three. Give the appropriate comment. Let's say for H I Hi, and click enter. Okay, as you can see, it is showing access denied. Look, that means the user is not logged in as an administrator. Now let's. Shut down the another computer, which is a workstation. The workstation IP address is 54. Now click enter. Okay. Now let's go to the workstation and let's see what's happening. Okay. We are on the workstation now. As you can see, the server name is server four, and it is logged in as an administrator. The administrator name and the password is same as the server name and the password. That's why I'm able to shut down this computer remotely. Now this message also showing. Hi. Okay, let's go back to a domain control and let's cancel this shutdown. Okay, we are back on the domain controller to cancel to cancel or about the shutdown. It is the same process which we have done before. Type shutdown. Slash a. Slash. M slash space. UNC path, and the IP address of the remote shutdown workstation. Now, the IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot fifty four. Click enter. If the if the command prompts comes at the same time, that means the the shutdown has been aborted. Now let's see the shutdown has been actually aborted or not. Let's go back to a server four. As you can see, the shutdown has been aborted. Okay, now let's go back to a domain controller. Okay, let's close this now. We can also use this command by creating a batch file. As you can see, there is a batch file. I will click here, and both of those, both those two workstation and the client computer will be shut down. Let's go to the both of those workstation and see what's happening. Okay, as you can see, this is a server three. Okay, let's go to the server four and let's see. Okay, this is a server four, and this is also going to shut down. Okay, let's go back to our domain control and abort the shutdown from a batch file. Okay, we are back on the domain controller DC. Now let's click on the batch file to abort the shutdown. Okay, now let's check the shutdown has been aborted or not. As you can see, the shutdown has been aborted on server three. Let's go to server four. The server four shutdown also has been aborted. Okay, now let's go back to our domain controller. Thank you for watching our this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we are going to tell you how to create a batch file to remote shutdown and how to abort the remote shutdown. Thank you for watching our. This tutorial was presented by Sachin Sami, powered by Tech Dot Peter Kreis.